Mars is mentioned, the sky is the limit. I swear to reach it, even if I got no pride to piss in. How, baby, this is how. I turn nothing into something, yeah. and you can keep your assumptions. Yeah. But it's thanks to nothing, cause that's what created the hunger. Yo, what up? It's your boy Black with Black TV where we give you reviews and hip hop news. And today I'm doing an independent review on artist Yellow Boy and Lil Yo new mixtape BFA. Don't forget to hit subscribe to Black TV for more reviews and more reactions. Hit a like, hit that notification bell to be notified for more videos. And if you want me to review your independent project, please hit me up on Twitter or Instagram on my ticker thing right here. Here's the information at Black Music, B L A C M U Z I C. And you have to have a mixtape or an album on any streaming site or mixtape website. And you also have to have a video with that. So if you're interested, hit me up. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. I'm gonna give you the honest opinion of mine. It's just my opinion. But if you're interested, hit me up. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Yellow Boy and Lil Yo BFA. If you're curious to know what BFA stands for, it stands for Brother from Another. Yellow Boy is actually his last rap name. Used his real name used to be Trey Bailey, and I did a project of his earlier this year called Student of the Game, and it was a pretty decent project. But now this is his next project, partnered up with Lil Yo with Brother from Another BFA. And I must admit, it's a pretty decent project. But let's go ahead and check out this cover. The cover is them with big heads, animated with a little blood dribbling on the BFA. I mean, it's okay. It's, uh, I'm not gonna say an original design, but I mean, it'll do for what the project is. But let me go ahead and get into my likes. One thing I check for as far as independent artists, I check for quality. And one thing about this project on is quality. It's A1, it's top notch. Everything sounds crisp and clear. clear. Everything sounds professional. And it don't, I don't hear no distortion. Like, it's Tatacion shit. You know, it's, I don't like this shit. But yeah, from track one through 10, everything sounds real good as far as recording quality. I like how both of these go back and forth on each track. Like, on the intro, they, they do like four bars and go back and forth. I love that when a couple group that actually do rap, I like when they do like four bars and go back and forth. And even on track eight, Hate On Me, Trey Bailey does his thing and then Lil Yo does the chorus. And then on another track, Lil uh, Yellow Boy does a chorus and just back and forth. I like how in the interaction of artists does that. And plus on track six, which is I think is the best content on the mixtape called Daily News, which they actually talking about issues that's going on in the community and urban uh, urban areas. And I think that's really dope to where how artists can really just branch out and do other things as far as talk about the average dope boy stuff and average street stuff. Just taking another angle and talking about something else on a different type of song because if you're if you're an artist you're gonna have to do different type of things to where you stand out and as far as this song it really stands out my favorite track on this mixtape is number seven dream B. even though this is a solo song from yellow boy I think this is the most motivational song off of the mixtape I mean it's like basically it's just telling you where he come from, what motivates him, and what he the reason what he does. And I hate the fact that Lil Yo wasn't on it. But as far as a personal pick, this is my favorite because I relate to it the most. But as far as dislikes, there's not a lot of dislikes on this mixtape. I mean, it's a short mixtape, but as far as the content and what they trying to put out, it's not a it's not really no bad songs on it. I mean the only gripe I have about it is that it's really 
Like, if I really wasn't listening to the lyrics, all the tracks sound the same sonically. Like, the beats kind of sound the same in, as far as, like, like here and there. But the content, all the content is different on the mixtape. It's just, if I wasn't really paying attention, all the music sounds the same. But my least favorite song off of this project is number 10, La La. The only reason I picked this song is because I think the quality on the course is very weak. But as far as the 10 tracks on here, that's the only weak part. As far as quality, I can really uh, uh, hear. I mean, it's just a song where they just spitting and it's got, um, it's not, a, it don't even have Lil Yo on it. It has Foster Key and Kenny Dawkins. I mean, I think as far as performance-wise, they did okay. But if I had, if I had to pick a worse song, it would be it. But let me go ahead and give a rating to Yellow Boy and Leo mixtape. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten, just because the content is decent. It's nothing something I heard before, but as far as execution-wise, they did that perfectly. So, I'm going to go ahead and give them a 7 out of 10, and I really recommend you to check them out. So, what do you think of Yellow Boy and Lil Yo's project, BFA? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's just an average Dope Boy mixtape? Do you think it's they bring good content to what they doing? Put in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And like I said before in the beginning of this video, if you're interested in for me to review your project, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram at Black Music, B-L-A-C, M-U-Z, I C, and I'ma tell you what's up. So with that being said, I holla next time on Black TV. Yeah!